In taking time to reflect on 2020, remembering anything before mid-March is a challenge. At the outset of each change we encountered, it was hard to fathom the profound impact each would have on the scouting movement as a whole and our council specifically. Despite each challenge, our volunteers, staff, and scouts themselves showed incredible resolve to maintain programs, develop new ones, and gain skills no one could have anticipated needing in January of 2020. March brought the COVID-19 pandemic and associated lockdowns to Connecticut. At first, it seemed like we would need contingency plans for a couple weeks, which quickly became a couple months, and then endured the remainder of the year. What came out as a result was nothing short of inspirational. Throughout the remainder of this video, we'll be sharing some of the outstanding accomplishments our council enjoyed in 2020. Ultimately, it was a difficult year. Our council staff is smaller. Our camps were empty during the summer. Cub Scout recruiting, popcorn sales, and more were deeply impacted. Despite all of these challenges, the scouting program continues in the Connecticut Rivers Council because of de dedicated leaders both inside and outside of our programs. To each of you, we say thank you. Beginning with membership, the Connecticut Rivers Council served 4,174 Cub Scouts, 3,984 Scouts BSA, 589 STEM Scouts and Explorers, and 81 Venturers and Sea Scouts. This was made possible through the efforts of 3,530 adult volunteers. A key component of the Scout Oath is to help other people at all times. Our council issued a Thank You Frontliners Council shoulder patch in partnership with 4CT.org. We were able to donate $2,000 from the proceeds of the patch sales to support frontline workers. In addition, we do our best to provide assistance and camperships to scouts who need financial help. In 2020, the Connecticut Rivers Council was able to support more than 200 scouts through these initiatives. We have all seen the value of scouting firsthand but several studies have been conducted to test program outcomes. Here is a selection of recent findings. Scouts are twice as likely to earn a bachelor's degree than the general public. Scouts are twice as likely to earn an advanced degree as well. Scout alumni are significantly more likely to have a very good or exceptional credit score. In adulthood, scouts enjoy personal incomes that are nearly double the national average. Scouting matters, and these are just a few of the reasons. While the pandemic restrictions significantly impacted fundraising efforts, our council had a strong fiscal performance in 2020. While scouts were not allowed to sell popcorn at storefronts or door to door, they still sold $227,411 of product, including a tenfold increase in online sales compared to 2019. Although most of our fundraising events looked a lot different in 2020, our council's development volunteers and staff conducted five special events that raised more than $400,000. We also enjoyed the support of more than 500 individual donors. A big thank you goes out to everyone who supported the Connecticut Rivers Council financially in 2020. As you can see, our council revenue comes from a variety of sources. The four largest in 2020 were other revenue, which includes council membership fees and PPP funds, special events, foundations, and camp revenue. Expenses for 2020 were largely employee compensation with professional fees, occupancy, and other expenses together making up 86% of the total. Our council is blessed to enjoy the support of numerous foundations. Some of these are on the screen now, and you can find a complete listing at ctscouting.org slash foundation support. The Connecticut Rivers Council also receives generous support from our local business community through contributions, special event sponsorships, and matching gift programs. We couldn't do this without you. To see a full list of corporate sponsors, please visit ctscouting.org slash corporate dash sponsors. Finally, we want to provide a snapshot of some of the outstanding program achievements our council experienced in 2020. Between Eagle Scout projects and other community service, our scouts gave more than 14,000 hours to their local communities. 2,000 scouts participated in a council-sponsored virtual program. 5,500 nights of camping were recorded. 50,000 scouting for food bags were distributed. 5,000 rank advancements were earned, 7,366 merit badges were earned, and 
322 young men and women earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Once it became clear that in-person summer camp would not be possible in 2020, the Connecticut Rivers camping team developed Camp Kinda Laika. Remarkably, this program went from concept to execution in just six weeks. The results were staggering. Camp Kinda Laika served 1,315 scouts from 75 councils, encompassing 32 states, Washington, D.C., and Germany. As mentioned before, the pandemic forced instant and significant changes to the delivery of scouting programs. It was clear that our council needed to offer new programs to supplement unit efforts as they learned how to adapt to the restrictions. Some of those council programs included virtual merit badges, the virtual 5K, virtual camperies, online STEM Nova awards programs, virtual roundtables, and lots more. We also promoted and supported several national BSA virtual programs, including the National Camp-In, Family Fun Fest, and others. As we pivoted our program offerings to a virtual environment, our council was able to develop and cultivate program partnerships with an incredible variety of community partners. You can see from this list that our scouts were able to interact with experts in many different fields. Thank you partners for your work with our scouts. 2020 provided many tests for the scouting program in the Connecticut Rivers Council. While it proved to be a wild roller coaster, our scouts, volunteers, executive board and staff pulled together to foster a sense of normalcy in the lives of our area youth when they needed it the most. Thank you to each of you for your tireless efforts and unwavering support.